tell me about the need that you have to make this night uh, a success. The biggest need that we have right now is candy. The community has always been so great to us as far as making the donation of candy. And really three quarters of our donations are candy that come from the community. So that's one thing that we're requesting right now. We're about halfway there as far as the, the candy goes. Uh, we're about four totes full. We usually get eight to 12 totes. So we're, we got the final push on for the candy this year. Now how do you, you know, in, in terms of drop off, is there always somebody here to receive the candy or how do folks go about that? We try to have somebody here as much as possible. Uh, during the day, um, um, during the week, we have our receptionist, uh, Gwen. She's more than happy to take the candy. On weekends, we have our firefighters here. The only reason why there's somebody not here on weekends is if we're at a fire call. Um, other than that, there's somebody always here and always uh, willing to take the candy. This is a, this truly is the uh, Halloween event of this city. You watch thousands of kids go through. Tell me where you're at to set up and, and what's left to be uh, done to make this night, you know, magical. Well, we still have some of our exciting uh, surprises that we won't probably put out till Halloween day. Right now where we're at is uh, we have a lot of static display out. Um, our pumpkins are being carved. That's the first thing uh, that we're getting going right now. Um, we've got 125 pumpkins right now to carve. We're probably going to go for another 125 uh, by Monday. Um, and that's the biggest uh, job task that we have for our firefighters and some of the volunteers that we have. Also looking at the setup, now you have a haunted house. Who's facilitating that this year? Again, the Woodfield Secondary School students. Uh, Woodfield has been fantastic over the last 10 years that I've been running it to help us with the haunted house inside. Uh, it's grown every year for them. Uh, sometimes they have so many students that are interested in helping out, they have to turn them away um, just because they're limited to the amount of people that they can bring uh, down for the, for the haunted house itself. This year, uh, again, they've expanded the haunted house to be five rooms. Um, I'm not going to reveal what they are. They are movie themes, and uh, they are very excited. They're, they're plugging away at it right now, um, getting all the decorations in order, and uh, getting their spook on. Chris, why is this such a success at, at Station One? Uh, you know, over the years, it seems like less and less people are going door to door, and they're just showing up here. I think times are changing. I mean, I remember as a kid myself going door to door in my neighborhood. You knew your neighbors. You, you felt safe. Um, what we provide here is that safety, I think. Um, you know, we go through all the candy that comes in. I mean, I joke around saying quality assurance and our firefighters do test the candy from time to time. But that's one thing that we want to make sure of is uh, if we're going to have somebody sick, let's make sure it's our own firefighters rather than having the kids who come for a secure uh, facility to, to get sick. Um, the other thing that we do is we close down the streets around fire station number one so that there is no concern for accidents and we have security out there in place so that uh, you know kids feel safe and we have lots of, uh, of stuff to see and keep it uh, going here and uh, lastly uh, of the candy that you're looking for what uh, what's the big sellers what would you need most you know what, wrap candy is the biggest thing. I, I see lots of boxes of chocolate bars coming in. We have lots of boxes of chips. It's the wrap candy that we're really looking for. Um, it's something that we can grab with our hands, put a big bunch into a grocery bag or to a pillow sack like some of the kids bring in, and they leave with a good handful of candy. Uh, that's the most uh, exciting part I think that they look for forward to is not just the haunted house, but you leave with a, a bag full of candy, and it's, it's always great for the kids. What does this do for the firefighters? This, you know. You know what, we get to be kids for a little while, um, you know, this is a, a plan that goes on for two months in advance and uh, we get to, as, ki as firefighters, act like kids. We're carving pumpkins inside um, while we're off duty and sometimes when we're on duty as well. Um, and just to see the, the results, we're always uh, doing charity work and uh, community events for our children because those are our biggest fans. So um, for us to see three to 5,000 people come out on one night for four hours um, and see the smiles on their faces, sometimes frowns and cries, but uh, the end result is it's amazing. It's a great community event that we all have.